The Magpies, for the first time since 1990, are on top of the ladder at the end of round 16. And everyone in football knows what happened in 1990. Uh, Leroy Brown kicked three. McCaffer, terrific coming into the side. Beams is a star, as is Swan. Look at the numbers he racks up uh, for the Maggies. And not a lot on the other side for the Saints. Montagna was good. Fisher had his own footy out there across halfback. And Lenny Hayes did everything he could. The super coach points look like that. And it is time to welcome a man who is impressing everyone at Collingwood, Sherrod Wellingham, to the Sunday Footy Show. Sherrod, welcome, mate. Thanks for having me. Now, is it true that you're so focused on football at the minute that after you finished the game yesterday, you personally were unaware of the fact that Geelong had won the night before and therefore you were on top of the ladder? I was lost. unaware. I was unaware that they Sorry, lost. lost the night before. Oh, yeah. I was unaware that they had lost and I uh, wasn't aware that we were in first position. Well, mate, that is unbelievable oh. that you get the Maggies at this point in front of 81,500, by the way, which is incredible. Incredible home game for your club. Uh, on top of the ladder, everything must just feel great. Yeah, it certainly does. And um, I know beating St Kilda really gives us a lot of confidence knowing that we could play them again uh, come September. Well, Tomo, you took a look at this game, so uh, get us started. Yeah, thanks, Jim. Great game of footy. Saturday afternoon, isn't it great to see a great game? 81,000, as you mentioned. And to start the game, Kaczynski started in the ruck uh, for the Saints, and then he pushed uh, hard forward, uh, taking a mark. And I was thinking, wow, what a what a start here for the Saints. Oh. But it was the pies from there. And so, so the first thing I'd like to ask you is just what were the tactics uh, going in? Because the Saints had given you a lot of trouble with the spare man in defence, and that's the way it started of the game with oh. Fisher playing the spare man and Lee Brown going to him. Yeah, that was uh, definitely something we knew we had to stop. Uh, they haven't got Gilbert and Sam Fisher and those guys who like to sweep across half back, even uh, Goddard. So uh, we knew that St Kilda liked the hard ball and uh, they're very structured, so we knew we had to out St Kilda, St Kilda, I suppose. And a big job asked by uh, Chris Dawes, of course, just seeing him uh, kick a goal there and also lay a good uh, uh, tackle here with uh, Heath Shaw. But a uh, big job asked by the forwards without Travis Cloak in the side. Yeah, we tried uh, something a bit different, um, went a bit of a smaller forward line and uh, you know, we had to get the ball in there line hard so that the uh, sweeping defenders couldn't take the opportunities. Oh. Sharrod, uh, the smaller forward line you talked about, was that all about isolating their backmen, uh, making sure that you could actually um, play one on one and, and really bring uh, your small uh, talent into the game? Yeah, exactly, try and make them a bit more accountable and um, they love to drop off and you know, as you can see by Gilbert, got the most um, marks from opposition, I think, in the AFL. So minim minimising that is what we needed to do, and I think we did a good job of that. I think the other thing, too, you did a great job of, of was your pressure in the forward line from all those small forwards. You really put Sam Fisher, he had a heap of the ball, but you put him under pressure. There was McCaffrey there, a great role he played. He kicked three goals for the game, but his pressure as well was very good. This was on the stroke of half-time, boys. Rewalt takes a mark right on 50, and to test out that right hamstring, yeah. what a wonderful kick, because Collingwood had dominated proceedings until then, and really the Saints didn't look like it, but a great goal from their skipper uh, right on the uh, stroke of half-time. How did he go? Did you say he hurt his knee? Or well, he, hurt his, he looked like he hurt his knee in a contest early on, Bill. Yep. Um, I thought early on he looked dangerous. He was leading Presta Giacomo to the ball, but inside 50s in the first term, 14-6 to six mm. in favour of the Pies. That just doesn't give any forward really the opportunities needed, but he did run through the game. Tomo, you got to like the way St Kilda handled him, though, because the temptation would have been there to leave him out when things weren't going well, but clearly they've got some you know, time structures for his uh, game time and they stuck to them. Yeah, certainly. And I mean, no, Nick Rewalt's an absolute champion. He'll be better for the run, no doubt about that. But the issue for the Saints was really their pressure. I mean, they weren't on the ball, whereas the Pies were absolutely fantastic. I mean, at half-time, this game was really looking like uh, a real struggle for the Saints. And in the third quarter, uh, Sharrod, I mean, your pressure, once again, the great thing about your game was the consistency over four quarters of performance by not just one or two of your players, but by everyone. Yeah, we knew that they were going to keep coming, you know, as all great sides do. And... We're back out there after half time knowing that they were going to keep throwing it at us and we knew we had to stop it. A lot of your midfielders go backwards, they go to the half back flank, go to the back pocket. You went back from midfield to half back yesterday, Swan, Pendlebury. How often a quarter are you blokes changing through the back line and through the midfield? Because Alan Didak's another one, but he goes forward. Yeah, I think that's one of our strengths. You know, uh, our midfield depth's very, uh, very strong. So, and it's something that Mick really likes having uh, players that he can throw up each end. So, and we kind of run that ourselves when we're out there. As, Leon, as Leon. we look at the second uh, half highlights here, here's Leon Davis. This was probably one of his better games for the year, I thought. His forward pressure was fantastic. And he really looked up and about, Sherrod. He's had a lot of pressure on him, but a good for him to play uh, in, uh, well in front of the big stage uh, like Saturday afternoon. Yeah, I think uh, Leon's definitely a confidence player. And, um, you know, he's been, been a bit sore over the last month, I think. And he had a week off last week, as you know. And I think he'll. Uh, be ready and firing come September this and year. 
And uh, this man here, Dane Swan, showed uh, he just goes from strength to strength week after week. Another 36 disposals, kicking a goal there, uh, dominated the midfield. Yeah, Swan here just kind of, uh, we just sit there in awe really, kind of seems like he's doing what he wants. You're on top of the ladder, but I imagine internally you're very, very happy with yourselves, but at the same time they'd be saying, keep a lid on it, make sure you don't go around uh, spruiking that we're on top of the ladder. What's been, since the game, what's been the, what, what they've told you to do? Oh, I just kind of keep a lid on it, really, and uh, it doesn't really matter that we're on top of the ladder at the moment. It's just making sure that we finish top four and uh, give ourselves a double chance. Well, you're certainly heading along toward giving yourself a double chance. We're seeing here uh, in the final term, uh, the Saints did get a few goals through the youngster in Jack Stevens, And, uh, well, they here we go. Lee Brown, good vision over the top, of course. And uh, I think McCaffrey gets on the end of another one here. But from a, uh, a standpoint, you've got Josh Fraser uh, out of the side. You've got Paul Medhurst as well. He's an ex-All-Australian. -All uh, it'll be very hard for those guys to get back into this team the way you guys played on Saturday. Yeah, I think... Uh... The depth is what we're going to take advantage uh, going into September. I think we take a lot of confidence knowing that those guys are out and are struggling to get in and uh, keeps everyone on edge knowing that they've got to perform week in, week out. Sherrod, going into September, surely that game yesterday gives you a lot of confidence to know that as a football club, the Collingwood Football Club can go as far as they want. You can win the grand final. I know you don't want to talk about it too much, but surely that gives you confidence to realise you can win the whole thing. Certainly does, but I think um, we're not really concentrating on that at the moment. We're just making, trying to make sure that we are, we are there, top four at the uh, start of September. What about this little act of uh, bravery, Tomo? We uh, like to highlight the good stuff our panellists do, and look at this, back oh. and then bang! This was late in the game too, Jim. Two guys with their eyes on the football. This is what AFL footy's all about, and Sherrod was fantastic there, and uh, hurting the bigger opponent mm. in uh, Sam Gilbert, uh, running back with the flight of the ball, Sherrod. So uh, well done on your courage there, but uh, and also a, a very good game. You, you must be happy with your own form. I mean, 23 possessions off a half-back flank, uh, used the ball quite well. In, a, in a, what was a big game of footy? Yeah, I think uh, I kind of started the year off really well and I was really happy with the start of the year and then um, after my calf injury probably dropped away a bit but um, I'll take a bit of confidence from yesterday's game. Votes, Tom? Yeah, to the votes. Just quickly too, Jim, uh, Nick Del Sando was the late withdrawal, of course. Dempster uh, did <coughs> enter the side, so that was a big loss. But to the votes and no surprise which man I've got on top with nine and that's uh, Dane nine. Swan. He nine. was awesome and, uh, Jim, I nearly gave him a ten. Uh, hands oh, Leroy yeah. Brown, the big uh, fella. Leroy. I thought he was great. He kicked the three goals. Ben Reid, uh, Jared is one of the most improved players in the competition. He was wonderful uh, in your back half yesterday and yourself. I thought you uh, did a very nice job indeed, Seven. All right, mm -hmm. very nicely done, Sherrod. Everyone Mon enjoying the way you're playing. Month ahead, uh, Jim, uh, Richmond, Carlton, Geelong and Essendon and St Kilda, Hawthorne, Essendon, Port Adelaide Do you know and where the MCG North is, Sherrod? <laughs> yeah, stop the road. <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting one there. Uh, St Kilda play every game at Etihad for the rest of the year. Collingwood play every game at the MCG. Oh. Very interesting. Prizes uh, built. Interesting, that one. I am yes. blown over. Uh, <laughs> the Aquila Shoes for you, Sherrod. They're magnificent. St. Goliath clothing pack. Uh, glue stores there will give you a $250 voucher there. Man, what a fuss. $100 voucher there. Thank you to Man, what a fuss. King Chrome Tools. you got the, coo uh, the, the, cool <laughs> the cool tip. <laughs> the tool kit today. <laughs> <laughs> the cool tip. The yeah. cool tip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. The whey protein. <laughs> the whey protein powder. That is magnificent. Waterside <laughs> Hotel. $100 voucher there. The cob. Mag What's the cob, Bill? Wait for it. Krispy Kreme <laughs> donuts. Magnificent donuts. Here it is here. The cob cooker. Oh, it's no. a kitchen in a bag. It does a lot. It's a barbecue and an oven and a smoker. Oh, oh, Perfect oh, for the barbecue. Chops. Take a bite, Bill. <laughs> Look at a little snag there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> have a bite. No. Oh, no. <laughs> it's plastic. Um, and Home Timber and Hardware, all for you, Sherrod. A $200 gift card there, thanks to Home Timber and Hardware, the proper hardware store. I'm not sure Bill's tie's right. quite long enough, Bill. Just uh, oh. next time. <laughs> oh, no. Must be very long going over that gut. <laughs> <laughs> now, Sherrod. Great to see you, mate. What's happening on the home front? Everything going well? The uh, bride, I think, has had to head back west, has she? You... She's back. <laughs> she's come back? No, she just got back. Uh, so, yeah, she's just at home at the moment. Yeah. Do you love her? <laughs> <laughs> she loves him, Tim. Yeah, yeah, she does. Exactly. You know what we, we found on his neck? We know what we found, yes. Exactly. Uh, hickey. Um, oh. now, Can mate, you believe that? Continue. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't put up with it. Continue to fly. It's great watching sure. the Magpies just uh, on top of the ladder and, and the momentum you've got as a club's unbelievable. Well done. Thank you very much. <laughs> that is Sherrod Wellingham. The West Coast Eagles came and took on the Essendon Footy Club. Nathan Brown's going to take a look at that next on the Sunday Footy Show.